morning guys welcome back to another video i'm actually working from home uh, i've got my two laptops here um hard day monday is it really hard over the weekend i've developed like a spot on my forehead and it doesn't look much but it absolutely kills whenever i touch it um so yeah i need to go and see hannah really I need to go into hannah's skincare routine 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 i need to go into hannah's skincare boutique sorry and i need to get it seen to because it, it kills it really hurts but um yeah working hard or hardly working <laughs> no i am working hard mondays are really busy for me and i've got quite a thing that i gotta do today i've actually gotta do like jump on the business call and i've gotta like talk about my team stuff a manager normally does it and he's unable to attend so i have to like step into his place type thing and do it so i'm a bit nervous because i gotta jump on a call in front of like 30 people um if not more actually um and give the update from our department so to speak and also then I've got to jump on like the the manager manager one and do the same thing. So I'm a bit nervous today to say the least. My laptop is firing up like insane. Um, I think it's doing updates actually. I think my Mac, Mac is doing some updates. There's a few few updates there but it's just it always things up. But as I said I'm super nervous about that and yeah. As one saga ends with a baby Yoda another one begins the TV and I've got an update today from Samsung. So in yesterday's video guys, they actually uh, came back to me, I spoke to them on the phone, um, I'm, it's gonna be in for repair, all was good. But before I called them, I messaged them on Facebook because I thought that's a better way to communicate because I can send them I can send them photos. So I did that, um, nobody responded, I gave them a call, then that was it. But this morning I had a response on Facebook and the person said to me on the phone that the problem could have been caused by my wall mount. So I know what they're trying to say, they're trying to say that because the thing is too tight, it's kind of like stretching the back of the TV, which is then making the bezel, you know. Um, you know, I actually thought it could be true, so I did untighten it, but it didn't do anything. And when I thought about it, it would all be out rather than just like a little bit at the top and a little bit at the bottom. If anything, it would be more out on the sides, or sorry, it'd be more in the middle, uh, which it's not. So I kind of just pushed the back on that. So as I said, this saga I'm sure is going to continue and there's going to be updates along the way. Um, I need to set a reminder on my phone as well for like a few weeks time just to give them a call because I want to make sure that it gets fixed um, but I want to remind myself to do it. The next stage of this room as well um, in terms of like renovating and stuff obviously we've done the shelves and I think everything's more or less done there. Um, down there we're going to put another shelf there but the next thing I want to do in this room is going to be making this not Amazon Echo but Apple HomeKit um, which is going to be expensive because I've got there's a lot of smart plugs in here. I think there's three four plugs in here and then there's one two three four five strips in here um so yeah it's, it's a lot the reason why i'm bringing this up now though is obviously with the tv we've got lights on the back of the tv and if this tv needs to go back in for repair um well when it, when it does go for repair then i'm gonna have to take these lights off so i'm gonna be putting on then the apple home kit ones i think um when they when it comes back and start in that progression ever so slightly. I do need to pick up some, some smart plugs and stuff. I need to like price up and look for some, but they're just so expensive. Like they're like 50 pounds for one, whereas one Amazon one can be like 10 pounds. So yeah. Carrying on my day now though, I've got a really busy day, so I won't be vlogging till later on. After work, I'll start filming again. My new AirPods case has just arrived. Um, as you can see here, so I'm just gonna unbox this now. Got a little apple thing here which i think is just gonna be yeah tell me what i gotta do with the old one putting it take it out of the box <laughs> literally tells you take it out of the box put it back in the box there's that and we've also got this then okay so here is the new case itself doesn't seem to be broken i say broken or like mine so this is the old one which would just click and then this one is the new one let me take this actually out of this thing there we go so yeah it's definitely much better um and not a problem as much as the other one was so now i assume what i'm gonna do it tells me how i gotta repair my new my old airpods because the old the new case is just the case i keep my earphones put them in and then obviously plug in the cable by the looks of things then the old one just goes straight back in this box, which we obviously sent back to uh, to Apple. So let's put this now, let's put these rather back in or into the new case. There we go. I've got an extremely small uh, lightning cable here. So I'm just gonna plug this in here and um, 
like I said, get it all charged up. So the light should come on. Yep, it's charging. There we go now, though. I've got the new case charging. Um, that's going to be good, hopefully. Yeah. This is the best beer money can buy. Amazing. My work call went really well. Um, Dad did the same thing twice, which was scary, but I did it. So I'm having a beer. I'm celebrating. I know, it's a, I know it's a Monday night, but it was a hard day. And there we go. I've just had a nice beer outside. It was actually nice, really nice. I still got this spot on top of my head. It's killing me. Uh, it's doing my head in, literally. <laughs> we have done some renovation. Well, I say we, I've done some renovation today um, upstairs. Well, Hannah did help earlier, but we've moved Hannah's desk from here. And we've put like this coat up thing there for now because long term, this is not going to be there. This is actually going to have that, which will go there. We'll probably then move that into the dressing room because in these two coves that we've got here um we're gonna put wardrobes we're gonna get like built-in wardrobes like actually like built in there so that means that does mean that this dressing room we can get rid of everything behind me like all my clothes are like there and then hannah has this thing and then in the middle is literally just like where we store our hangers and our like wash basket and stuff so we can get rid of all that and all that can go in those two coves when it's done so that then makes this room Hannah's office. So we said like when we moved out, we wanted to have a room each. Obviously I've got my own office and Hannah's gonna have her room, which is gonna be called Hannah's studio uh, because she's gonna start like graphic design and stuff like that. So I'm gonna have the office, she's gonna have a studio. That's kind of how it's gonna work. I did debate about actually having this room because if you can tell, it's actually a square room. Whereas my room, obviously where my shelves are, there's actually like little coves, but I did debate about even having this room, but next door have children and they are literally the other side of that wall. Um, and if you think about it, when I put, if I put my like speakers up in here, it would have been chaos. So, so yeah, it's actually worked out quite well because next door, the room that they have, they don't use as a spare room. So it's like, it's really loud probably for them, but it doesn't bother them, which is good. But this is the start. This is Hannah's studio and we're gonna be doing a lot of stuff in here and obviously some renovation. So it's gonna be exciting. We've got to put that elephant up on the wall here. Uh, it's gonna go there. And then I've also got some like fairy lights for her uh, that I had ages ago. And we're going to be putting that like a hook there and like a hook there. And then they're going to be up on that wall. So, yeah, just trying to make this room a little more girly, you know, make it a bit more for Hannah and um, as best that we can. You know, that's that's what it's about. You know, she deserves it. And then um, we've got to we've got to help her out. So. So, yeah. So the weekend is all going to be about DIY again. I've got my I've got my drill here, which doesn't work. Here it is. Whee! So yes, I'm excited to do some DIY. I actually made a list on my phone, which I'm vlogging with. I'm looking at my phone and I'm like, here it is. Uh, I actually made a list earlier. So I've got like a ton of jobs to do. Um, I'm putting some shelves up. I'm actually laying some carpet. So if you want to see that, that'll be Monday's video. So stay tuned for Monday. It's exciting. It's exciting. I'm excited. I've also been doing some eBay in today. Um, obviously I have like the eBay store and stuff that I sell on, um, but I've been selling some 4K Blu-rays. So these are the ones I've actually sold. Um, yeah, I'm getting rid of them. So some of the reasons behind why I'm selling these ones in particular, um, I'll start with Jurassic World. This is like a, a brand new sealed version. However, if you can see there, the, the, the title is in like Spanish and all the stuff at the back is Spanish. I actually bought this, I think it was like three or four quid and I didn't realize from the ad. So. I put it back up for sale. Hopefully I can get my money back for it. But Deepwater Horizon, I'm actually, I've am actually i actually seen this. I watched this and um, it's a really, really good movie. But it came on sale today for like three quid. And I've actually already sold this for six. So I bought the digital one and sold this and made a profit. So I still own it. It's in my digital library, but I don't really need it taken up room on the shelf. But it's still a good movie. Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Uh, fun story about this one, actually. When I bought The Revenant, the person who sold me that on eBay sent me this instead. And then he sent me The Revenant and said, ah, don't worry about this. Yeah, I'm going to return it. So I was like, okay, then. So it's a free, free Blu-ray. So yeah, I'm selling this because I've, I've seen it once or twice. I'm not really a fan. Um, I'm more of a fan of the newer ones rather than this first one. But um, yeah, I don't really, like I said, don't want to take that room on my shelf. That one's actually sold as well. I sold that for seven pounds. So that's like a free seven pound there in terms of, you know, I had that for free. Uh, Assassin's Creed, I've sold this one. As you can see on the top there, it's got digital with it. Um, I actually sold this one because um, I had the digital code for it, redeemed it, it's in my items library. So I have the digital copy of it. I don't really need the physical one, so selling that. The exact same thing happened with War of the Planet of the Apes. And as I said, this is the one movie I really like. And I also like Dawn of as well. Um, but I have the digital copy of these. So like I said, I don't need the. And then last but not least, this is the Star Wars Solo one. James, you're a massive Star Wars fan. I mean, you have the big box set. Like, why are you selling it in Solo? And that is right. I actually love Solo. It's one of my favorite Star Wars movies. And this, I, I really enjoy it. However, because it's one of my favorites, I've actually bought Solo on Steelbook. So 
as I'm a big Star Wars fan, I want to try and try and get that. So I've actually managed to sell this as well. This is already sold for £15. I'm buying the steelbook for like 25 You can't buy it anymore. So obviously I've got to pay, put a little bit more down. But, you know, I'm a big Star Wars fan and I want to get the best version possible in terms of for the collection. So so that's been sold. But yeah, I've already sold some. So we're going to be shipping them out tomorrow. I've got to be like packaging them up later on tonight, probably. No doubt. But we've got a lot of stuff going on tonight. We're going shopping. We're going to pick up some paint from my mum's. We're going to lend that because we're going to be painting downstairs tomorrow. Uh, say tomorrow on the weekend as well. I'm doing DIY upstairs. Hannah's doing DIY downstairs. So there is things happening. Literally, there is things happening. Everything is awesome. Everything is great. I've just seen now, we've just had another episode. I say an episode. Uh, Bram at Colonel has edited the podcast episode. So I need to be downloading this. I need to get this uploaded to for the podcast. So if you didn't miss the podcast that I recorded yesterday, go and check it out. It's uploaded now. Yeah, it was a good one. Here we go, guys. We're just getting the shop in. And, uh, and yeah, screwed up today. We didn't have... Um, of pounds on us to be able to get a trolley so we have to have a, a basket each here it is <laughs> yeah so making do i suppose making do we've got two tins of paint here thanks to my mum for lending us this uh, there's only a little bit in each but we're gonna see which shade we like and um, obviously we might not like any of them uh, but we've got like a slightly darker gray here this warm putna and then we've also got this chic shadow which is a bit lighter um, but we're gonna try it out so our idea is actually to paint this entire wall behind the sofa uh, just to make this room feel a bit smaller, a bit more cosier. When we first moved in, this wall here was grey, where the TV is, and that one there, um, just next to the bookshelf, uh, this way, uh, that was also grey as well. But we whitewashed everything in here, because we didn't really know what we wanted. However, now, since being obviously home more, we're deciding that we're going to paint this entire wall this weekend. So, well, I say we are. Hannah is. Um, but yeah, so as we're going to just use some testers, we're going to go to B&Q tomorrow to actually buy the paint or buy more testers, depending on what we need. But right now we're going to try this paint, the darker one first, and we're just going to paint it on and we're just going to see, well, we're just going to do some testers and then we're going to leave them there till probably, I say maybe tomorrow, we might decide tomorrow, we might not. We might want to go and get the paint on Saturday, who knows. There's the first one, there's the darker one done. Now I just gotta go and rinse this off, I think. Yep, rinse this off now and then do the lighter one. Now we'll put the other one on, the lighter color. Hannah's washing over me. I like that one better, I think. Well, they'll dry different though, we've gotta bear that in mind because mm. they're gonna look totally different once it's dried and also once it's daylight in here. And I thought, I thought I'd put them there as well because when they've got the plant there, Look at that green as well, so it's kind of that's why I put it here. It's just it already just looks a bit classy. I know it's only a little bit, but you know what I mean though. Mm -hmm. It's just it's nice it's nice to get a bit of colour in there. Give it a colour, it's great. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I mean. So yeah, there we go. Obviously just a little patch of paint, um, but we'll see which one comes out better. Like I said, over the next day or two, it's just gonna dry. We're gonna put the plant there. Uh, probably not now actually, we'll move the plant over there for tonight, out the way. Um, once it's dried, we'll put it up there tomorrow and yeah, it'd be good. You okay, Han? <laughs> yeah. This is her red face mask, like I said. Okay, so this is actually with like the flash on. Obviously, you can see that they're both actually quite dark in this light, but they're just different. I don't know. One will dry different, obviously, than the other. They'll dry lighter, obviously, but um, we'll see. So the saga will continue. So we're not sure whether or not to paint around the this bit mm -hmm. or this bit. So let's say on camera what we both feel in our gut our type gut. thing. So on this thing or around it? Ooh. Ready? One, two, three, around. Okay. Oh, really? we're different. I think it's better around. Okay. I'm going to go with my decision just because I said oh. it. But I just think that could be, I don't know, I feel like it's part of the stairs. Yeah. I don't know. You guys, let, let's know down below. What do you think would look better? If we paint that grey or should we leave that white? Bear in mind this wall would be great, obviously. Let us know your thoughts. Be good to get more opinions. Obviously, we're split here. Yeah. So I just you know. think it's cleaner lines, you know. Yeah, it could be cleaner lines. Yeah, you got a good point there. Let us know. Let us know. Up in the office now, then, guys. Me and Hannah just watched an episode or two. I'm trying to be a little bit quiet because Hannah's just gone to bed. However, all of these Blu-rays um, I have managed to sell today, which is really really good so i managed to sell five of them and um, so i'll ship all them out tomorrow i need to package all them up now and also 
Um, hopefully this one sells overnight. I mean, this is the one with the, the Spanish uh, title and stuff, but yeah. Today though, I did manage to get my AirPods and I can say that this case is working totally fine. I'm pretty happy with it and yeah, it's really good. Tomorrow we're gonna have to go to the post office. I've got to send back the old case. This is the, the, the that packaged up, so I've got to do that. And um, as I said earlier, we've got to post them out, so yeah. I'm going to sit down now though, and I'm going to start season seven of Clone Wars. I'm on the last season, which is the Disney season, so I'm super excited because I know it's in 4K. And yeah, I'm just going to sit and watch an hour's worth and um, have a good time, so, so yeah. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Stay tuned for another vlog tomorrow, and I'll see you guys soon. Awesome. Bye. <laughs>